a whole new world a hundred thousand things to see i'm like a shooting star i've come so far i can't go back to where i used to be mm, like red maroon but it's sort of like a like a washed out oh it's a nice it's a little like expensive though part. um so uh, this i don't know what this is she who must be obeyed. Never heard of it. You don't know anything about this. It's like a, it's like a radio uh, Northern Reflections, basic. But then we found a 700. Ooh, that is nice. I mean, it's lost a bit of poppiness. It doesn't matter. Size, it's For no 14.99. Oh my God. What size? That's XL. Exactly how I found <laughs> my last one. That's an amazing price for it. That's crazy, right? Hey guys, I wanted to show you this. It's really good quality. I feel like it's real vernice leather. Inside is like a, right here is real leather too. But there's one area that's um, problematic. It's that side right there where it's doing that. So, I mean, the price is good, but. I feel like for resale that will affect it a lot, but it's a really good replica. It's really nice. Even that looks good. I guess we'll pass. Does it look good? Depends. Price, $150. We gotta look up these. Okay. Yeah, take them all. Go knock, Daniel. Mm. <laughs> Sell your body. Should I clear out the trunk? No, it's fine. I'll, I'll figure it out. I'll clear it out. Bring these two right now. <laughs> so sad. This is exactly what 70s <laughs> makes me it's think cool. of. I want, it's cool seeing some of the tags though. Cachero. Okay, so. Oh, Gringos. Oh my god. It's so old. It's so Mexican. Britannia. What's this one? Yeah, rayon. That's the stuff from the 70s too. Right? So this is all donation? Yeah. We're going to that garage sale over there. That nice big house. And people are like waiting already like over there. They're like getting aggressive. Wrecked leather. So, so these two donations. A lot of people waiting for the garage sale. Yard sale. Shenanigans is he up to? Shenanigans. <laughs> I said, what kind of shenanigans is he up to? Video games. Oh. Number All PS2? Ow, ow, ow. What are these? Yeah, the PS2 consoles, too. Ooh. 20 each, two controllers. That's not bad. And a system. Get it. Are you getting it? Probably. Yeah. Oops, I had it focused on your face. What's that? No, what brand do you think this is? Gucci. But fake Gucci. I just think I'm still getting it because it looks like it's 80s fake. It might be. Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. We are doing a haul of the things that we got yesterday and today. So stick around and we're going to show you what we got. First thing that we got was this bag. It is a lug bag. Um, the other one I had was super popular. It sold super quick. This is marketed as a gym bag, baby bag, travel bag, overnight bag. It's very versatile. Um, it's a crossbody and a top handle. 
it has all these compartments. So you have that compartment, you have this compartment here, and you have like little stretchable places to put things in. You have this to put your water bottle. You also have this side flap pocket, this other side, side flap pocket. Oh my God, I can't talk. Um, what else you got? Okay, you have this pocket right here that goes super deep and there's a hair tie in there. Um, then you have these pockets over here in the back. Then you have this slip pocket, uh, this zip pocket here. And then you have this to go over your luggage if you want. This is so convenient because you can put your gym shoes in here, dirty clothes, whatever. It is the length of the bag, so it's very roomy. And then inside, super spacious as well. So, and it's in excellent condition. When you're looking for lug bags um, on the used market, you have to look at the bottom. It usually has a plastic. It's either clear or um, opaque. And um, it tends to crack. And this has, wait, is that a crack? No, there's no cracking on it. And it's like almost in new condition. And I love the color. Beautiful pink, such a cool color. Um, I think retail on this is about $100. Uh, but yeah, I love it. We picked up this bag. Now, I'm a little confused with this bag, but the leather on this is phenomenal. It's called Sabrina. Sabrina, that's all. But the leather is so luscious and luxurious. The color is phenomenal. And I love that when you... Okay, first of all, it's the strap is, is connected like this. So it's like, I don't know, it's just, what's going on there? You know, because this just unhooks like this and it, it has no hook on the strap. So I don't know what's going on here. But there's two clips here two clips here so i'm thinking it was like a i don't know i just don't know how the bag is supposed to work you know i picked it up because the leather is phenomenal and actually if it was like that it would just be like an open top bag i guess just kind of like hugs your body when you're wearing it so it kind of is closed the quality of it is just very luxurious i've never heard of this brand and there's a zipper pocket on the outside. I think we paid like $13, less 20% off. Next, we picked up this coach bag. It was $17, less 20%. It's just kind of basic, shoulder, good condition. Kind of want to find a strap so that it could be crossbody. Because these sell better if there's a crossbody strap. I don't know what's supposed to come with one or if it was just like a bag with a shoulder strap. But it's in great condition too. A whole new world. A hundred thousand things to see. I'm like a shooting star. I've come so far. I can't go back to where I used to be. Anyway, we got this Aladdin. And it's um brand new in the box, never removed. You can tell because it's still tied. And I think this is from the 90s, like when the movie came out. Aladdin battery operated magic carpet with hover action. Ooh, hover action. Um, it's supposed to glide on the air or something like that. What does it say? Glides and runs on a cushion of air. I thought that was kind of cool. Anyway, I saw a used one selling, not sold, but selling for $50 on eBay. And that one was an open box. So the box is a little bit, not mangled, but there's a little bit of like, rip there a little bit of indentation here but it's still brand new sealed so i don't know what we can get for it but uh this is one of my favorite disney movies of all time um but i do my heart does belong to pocahontas but i do love little mermaid I, I love all classic disney okay but um yeah so we got that he's in a position that i'm so used to be in often <laughs> we picked up this coach bag it is leather $17, that's 20%. There was like a lot of dark marks on it. I tried to get it up, up out as much as I can. That's the best that we can do. But um, I feel like we can still get like $20, $30 for it. So make a couple bucks on it, whatever. It's a great color. So we picked up a Danny leather coin purse in this like pebbled leather um, for $2. So that was a good deal. It's more like a darker leather too. I mean, dark, darker color. And then we picked up Juicy Couture Perfume, Viva La Juicy, almost full for $4. So that was a deal, I feel like. But I feel like they sell this at the pharmacy for like $20. I don't know. Correct me if I'm wrong. I found this super cute um, Christian Dior makeup bag. Um, this is like my third makeup bag. I have the plaid one. 
a larger one and then like a makeup brush holder one. I'll show you. I can like maybe lot it all together, but I'll show you. Anyway, this one has like Dior on the zipper pulls and I'm gonna zip it open. This compartment has brush holders and then you have like a zip compartment and this compartment is just open with the CD print. A few other Christian Dior things I have. This Dior um, vinyl kind of pouch. When you open it up, you have like just CD right there. It's kind of cool, like put your makeup or whatever in here and it buttons shut. And then I have this Dior little pouch here just to put whatever. Dior Beauty. And then the one that I told you, we have this one. So I can lot it all together, maybe sell it as a set. This is called the Mini Puddle Jumper, very popular style. Um, and here's what it kind of looks like on. But um, it is, I think this retails for like $100 as well. It's brand new with tags. And there's a lot of compartments. Again, you have this small compartment here, but there. You have the two compartments here, zip, and then the flaps, the back there, side stretch pockets, and then the interior is super spacious. There's a great like crossbody bag, festival bag, travel bag, um, park bag, whatever kind of bag. And then we picked up this bag. I've never heard of the brand. The brand, okay, you go like this, and then it's, the leather on this is phenomenal, guys. Phenom it's like a cross of Dior and Chanel, I feel like. And then it's a double flap bag. And the brand is called Louis XIV. Louis XIV. And I believe it's a French Korean brand. But like that label is popping, like expensive. The chain is heavy. Um, it is a very high quality bag if you're looking for like that um, Chanel flap or that Dior flap look. Very cute, cute. And it's very high quality. I can't even express to you the quality of this leather. Anyway, it's called Louis XIV. I picked up this um, factory outlet, but poppy bag from uh, Coach. Now, when I'm looking at these bags, I always tend to go for and look at the patent leather because that's what tends to crack super, super easily. Uh, not easily, but in time, because this is over a decade long collection. You like to look at there, but especially here. And I examined it and there's not any wear on that. The only wear is maybe a little bit on here, but though, but that's nothing. That's not cracking. It's more like rubbing. Um, but this is a poppy bag. It's complete with the ties, the zips. It is missing. Oh no, it does have right here. <laughs> complete with the poppy uh, hang tags and inside is super spacious. It's in excellent condition. Excellent condition. That's why I paid $30 for it. I know but I think it's worth it. The thing I was excited to find, I have never seen one of these in my whole entire life. It is a Victoria's Secret pink plaid um, luggage. Like it's a luggage, like it comes up like this. Z. Look at that. Okay, so it's a top handle and then it's also a luggage, obviously, right there, see? Luggage. Um, so this side has the two pockets velcro and then you have the zip pocket right here that goes super super deep and you have like the the patches that say phi beta pink road trip it's super cool and then the back of it says give me more give me more um but it says give me more pink and it has a slip pocket there and then inside let's zipper it open It is like the pink, Victoria's Secret pink, and it's like such a good bag. I don't know what these retail for, how much they sold for. I really have to do a lot of research on this, but um, I'm so excited. If it doesn't sell, I want to keep it because it's so unique looking and it has wheels, obviously. But that's a great condition too. Victoria's Secret pink luggage. The last thing that we got, and probably the best thing that we got, because I don't know. This, I think it's, I, I think it's, this I think is boot, vintage bootleg Gucci, so I don't think it's authentic, but it is definitely vintage. So they probably replicated it in the 80s, um, definitely 80s. Uh, the entire interior is leather. It's super soft leather inside, um, and it has the Gucci print all over. You have the Gucci stripe right there, and the emblem. It's such a really nice 
Boston bag, very reminiscent of my Versace one. I love this bag, it's so classic. Even as a bootleg, I think because it's vintage, it's very hard to clock, but um, I love it. And it's like the size of a Speedy 30, I would say. Very, very classy, very vintage. Unlike what Erica Girly World said, vintage is not the new poor, okay? Anyway, guys, it's all that we got. I hope you enjoyed this video. Thank you for coming thrifting with me. I'm so exhausted from a whole entire thrift week. Um, Daniel and I literally went to a few garage sales and we went to this old man's house and we went and bought like all his clothes for $50 and Daniel picked through it and kept a lot of the pieces. The rest we're gonna donate and use for coupons. So it was a long and tiring, exhausting day. <laughs> but I hope you're doing well. Happy Mother's Day to all the mothers and I hope you're doing well. Give this video a comment and give it a thumbs up, please. Don't forget to remain positive, productive, and progressive. Keep manifesting those motherfucking dreams. And I'll see you guys in the next video. I love you. Bye.